Hey guys, so this is going to be part 2 to my horror game series and in part 1 what we did we created something which was almost like um, an insanity meter or something like that so if you walk into a collider it makes you go slightly more insane so then you see more sort of um, blurring or you know dizziness which is created with the motion blur asset from Unity Pro. Now um, People, a lot of people ask me about this and I thought I'd cover it. This is only going to be a short video and it's going to be about actually, so when you actually see an enemy, it makes that effect happen without walking to colliders so then it's more realistic in terms of a horror game. And so this is, as I say, part two and I'm going to go on to show you making a level, making some enemies and doing some crazy things like that. So to start off with what we're going to do is, um, if you've seen my other tutorial, you should have these assets. Now, I had an asset called Scare that we created, and what that does, that actually, you know, when we walk into the Collider, as I said before, it will increase um, the amount of uh, blur that we see. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate that, and I'm going to rename it, because we're going to, you know, base it off that, but actually make something slightly different, so we'll open that up in Mono Develop. And when we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to do this using a raycast. So I did a tutorial on raycasts. If you don't know how you know these work, you can watch that and you can get a greater understanding. But I'm just going to quickly cover raycasting again. So we're going to set a, write a variable in the update function called forward. Have it transform dot transform direction open brackets vector three dot forward. Then we're going to have another variable called hit and set that as type ray cast hit but make sure the C is a lowercase then what we're going to say is if physics dot ray cast open brackets transform but make sure that transforms a lowercase sometimes when I um, run through this I accidentally do stuff like that and then you say Put a dot in it. Position, comma, FWD for forward, then comma hit. Close up two brackets. Add two curly brackets below, and we actually then want to say if hit dot distance is less than or equal to ten point zero, and and hit dot collider dot game object dot tag is equal to then what we'll say is we'll say the enemy so when we see the enemy then we'll add two curly brackets below there and say that um, before we actually write that I'll actually copy it from here so when we entered the collider it then changed our sanity so then what we can do is go along and just delete this function so we have actually got an update so if we're you know, in the rare cast, and we see the target within a distance of 10. You know, you can change this depending on what you like or what works for your game. And then, if we look at the game object, which is in the distance of 10, which is tagged enemy, then will it adjust the actual scare percentage? So it'll add 20 on um, every time. But problem here is if we do this on the update, it'll do it every second, and it might every second or every frame which is really fast within Unity's terms so what we need to do is actually sort of adjust the time of which it's gonna account up so what we'll do is we'll say times time dot delta time so that's the time of which sort of in-game time sort of per second that it happens so it's not as crazy and obviously you can adjust this so it's only 10 um, for every second that we look at the enemy so now what we can do is save out and if we go back into Unity what we'll be able to do is on the first person controller I've already added my script and you need to make sure that I've got a box here which is you know a very scary enemy but make sure that it's tagged as enemy and you can add a new tag there and make sure it's tagged enemy and what I've done is I've made sure that the box collider is a lot you know a lot bigger so wherever we look at it you know we'll see it so you know if we were slightly above um, we'd still see it and you can do that by just changing the Y value of the box collider now if we look and if we go near you can see the sanity it's decreasing as time goes on obviously if I click to blink it'll go to zero but if I go towards the enemy you know and be looking at it you'll notice that the sanity 
then you know um, it goes up and if we're at distance and not looking at it anymore then you know it'll gradually go down and we'll be able to blink to get away and if I show you again when we look directly at it and we're in the distance of it you'll notice that it goes up again you know as I say as it normally does and what you can do if you notice sort of any problems when you're looking sort of to the side of it you can obviously as I say increase the size of the collider that's there so then no matter where you look at the object you know it's there within your sort of range so that was just the basics of creating and when you look at an enemy it makes you, your insanity increase more so if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure you keep checking back because i'll be making part three of my um horror series very soon cheers